Yo, what's going on guys? Coming to you with another how-to video today. And what am I gonna teach you today? I'm gonna teach you how I personally utilize Amazon to find companies to uh, reach out to and try to do a collaboration with. So basically, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you've probably seen an uptick in puzzle videos. Uh, and that started off with me basically just doing puzzles for myself in the beginning. I was doing puzzles um, of my own prints, my own photography prints. You can go check out my photography at mmpstudios.com. Um, but yeah, I was printing out my own puzzles via Shutterfly. Um, shout out Shutterfly. Y'all still haven't sponsored me. If you want to sponsor me for a puzzle video or any products, I'd love to hear from you guys. But uh, let me get back to the point. Um, I was doing those puzzles and I had a company reach out to me and ask me to do a review of a puzzle and, and trade basically they said they would send me a puzzle uh, for free so it was no guarantee whether i was going to give them a positive review or not it was basically that hey we'll send you a puzzle if you'll do a review and make a video out of it and i was like sure thing i'll do that so it took about a week or two for the puzzle to arrive i think it came straight from china so it took a little bit longer to get here um, but then after doing that puzzle and seeing that I got a fairly positive response from it um, from YouTube I figured why not replicate that and find other companies that I can reach out to So I already had a pretty long list of puzzles on my Amazon wish list So that's where I started. I went to my wish list and I started trying to figure out if I could find a way to contact these uh, companies now, Amazon does not have direct uh, lines of contact for the companies through their website. So I had to get a little creative and start trying to figure things out. So what I'm about to do in, is in a second here is flip to my computer screen. And I'm going to give you basically what I've already figured out, but I'll kind of along the way explain how I figured some of these things out. And when you see them, you're going to think, oh, that's not that hard to figure out, but it's not always the first way that you might think to try to reach someone or to try to figure out how to reach them. So let's go ahead and flip over to my computer. So a couple things um, that you're gonna wanna have open on the computer, or at least that I do when I'm, I'm doing these, is obviously right here is Amazon. Um, I usually have Facebook open, and actually let me go ahead and log into Instagram as well. If I'm not already. All right, I'm already logged into Instagram. I probably won't be utilizing Instagram today, but just in case. Uh, and then if you guys don't use Google Drive and Google Docs and Google Sheets to the fullest extent, uh, let me tell you, that's one of the best things that you can do when you're trying to um, get organized. And I love Google Drive because uh, I'm an avid Android phone user but even if you're not and say you're doing iPhone you can still get the Google Drive docs and uh, apps all on your phone so that's gonna be something completely different that I go into later but start using that it's free and it will make your life easier because you can get very organized and like I said I'll go into that later not on this video another video Okay, so, but the reason I'm bringing that up is right here, I've got a document that I've already created. And so what I'm gonna be showing you guys is more or less like how I'm reaching out to these puzzle companies. Let me mention this too. Don't just take my video and try to go copycat everything I'm doing and try to start doing puzzle videos. Because if puzzle videos are not your thing, then you shouldn't sit there and try to replicate what I'm doing because you're not gonna enjoy it and it's not gonna come across as genuine in the content and people aren't going to gravitate to the videos if they're not done well. Now, if you are somebody who does enjoy doing puzzles and, and you've been considering doing puzzle videos, then yeah, by all means do it. Um, but what I'm showing you is ways that you can, maybe if you have a niche or a product or something that you already have an interest in, maybe you are a, a makeup artist, and you want to try to find ways to reach out to some of these makeup companies again not the traditional method of how you would do it but maybe there's a way to do that through here maybe you it's a tech gear that you want to try to find out how to reach companies just keep in mind that 
the bigger the company is that this may not work. So you want your medium to smaller companies in order for this to work. So back to the screen here on my computer so we can uh, get going on this. Um, with the puzzle companies, I already have an Amazon wish list, right? If you don't know what that is, that's basically, it's like a wish list of items that you want um, to buy at some point. You can share your wish list with people and people can buy stuff off of the wish list for you. I mean, however you want to utilize it. Um, I mostly just utilize it for myself so that I can put things in my wish list that I want to remember that I want to purchase later. So, but I'm going to go back to the beginning prior to the wish list just to basically show you what I did. So all I did was search, um, and I learned to you, for me, I need to do jigsaw puzzle because if I don't put jigsaw puzzle and I just put puzzle, it starts putting in like Rubik's cubes and brain teasers and all kinds of stuff. So jigsaw puzzles, 1000 pieces is generally what I personally go for. And you know, like just find puzzles that you like. And so I was, again, I was already doing this just because I wanted puzzles. And so I would find the puzzles I like and put them in a wish list so that I could remember to buy them. And I'm actually going to go ahead and add this one to my wish list right now. And you'll see I have multiple wish lists. All right. So now that you basically see, we're just searching Amazon for products you like, right? I'm going to go ahead and switch over to my wish list now so that we can uh, move on to the next portion. Okay, so the one I just now added. Um, another thing, just a simple little tip that a lot of people don't really think of. I do this all the time. I don't want to have to open this, right? Open it, look at it, then go hit the back button and then wait for it to refresh. Just right click it and open it in a new tab. That way, once you're finished doing what you want to do here, your original one's still there and you can see that it's highlighted in blue where you left off, right? All right, so here's what we're going to do. If you look right below the title of the product, right here, it says visit the Bunmo store. If you look over to the right, it says that it's sold by Kepi. So every now and then it's weird when these don't match. Usually they're always gonna be the same company. So I'm gonna go to Kepi, right click, open in a new tab and see what that is. Um, Kepi is a company, look right here, you can see the business name and everything. They're in Cedar City, Utah. It's always a plus when they're based out of the US. That means that it's going to be one that you're um, most likely going to be communicating with someone who speaks English, which is a plus. But also if they are willing to send you something, it's going to get to you faster if it's from the US. If it's based out of China or Japan or another foreign country, it's not to say that you don't want to work with those companies. Just be ready to expect that it's going to take longer for the product to come in. All right. so. We've got Kepi. Let's go see what this is though. Visit the Bunmo store. Why is it listing two different stores? Okay, so this is the Bunmo store. Let's look at Kepi storefront and see if it takes us to the same place. No, it doesn't. All right, so most likely Bunmo is what you're gonna wanna look up, right? And it looks like Bun Mo is, I guess this guy's got a bun and his name's Mo. I don't know. All right. But anyways, we're going to take that name and we're going to go to Google and search it up. Here we go. Bun Mo puzzles. All right. So we got Amazon, Amazon, Walmart, eBay, eBay, Reddit, Pinterest. All right. So I'm going to pass on this one just because I can't find a direct website for Bunmo. So we're gonna pass on Bunmo. Maybe I'll come back to that one another day when I have more time to try to search a little further. Let's go to this next one on my list. Edward Gorey, let's see, Pomegranate Communications is the name of the uh, store. And if you look on the right here, it actually doesn't even have a store name. So we'll, we'll just go look up this Pomegranate Communications Inc. on um, Google. And if you're thinking to yourself, well, why am I not just Googling all this stuff? 
it's because I have in the past spent a lot of time just searching for puzzle companies um, directly through Google. But most of the time you're gonna get a lot of the same results um, where with Amazon, it's a little bit more balanced. It's gonna put forth a lot of different companies and then you can try to find those companies' websites. So Pomegranate Communications, uh, Pomegranate Communications, look at the logo. It's this little pomegranate symbol. Um, and it looks like this pomegranate communications is look, it's got the same symbol. This is the correct company. All right. So now what I want to do almost every single time you can basically just go to the very bottom. Bam. This is exactly what I'm looking for. Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook, and Twitter. Now you can use whatever method of contact you like. For me, I usually prefer Facebook as the first line, uh, of contact. So I'm going to click on that. Now I see their Facebook store right here, right? And you click on message. All right. And this is where your uh, Google doc comes in handy. I've already pre-typed up a message here that I use, right? So I take and copy this message and I'm going to go send it to them. Now, if they do in fact respond back and say that they're willing to send me something, then I'll come here and give them my actual shipping address um so that they can ship the puzzle to me so but for starters i've copied that message i'm going to paste it in here and hit send basically the short version of what my message says is that i do puzzle videos um i uh, do an intro a time lapse and then an outro and then i uh, talk about the cut puzzle and the quality of the puzzle and all that stuff uh, and then I tell them that they can either contact me back through whatever means of contact I gave them, which was on this one, it was Facebook, or they can email me back directly at my email address. Uh, and then I provide them a link to one of my recent puzzle videos so that they can go watch it and see if they like it. That's it. So I basically do that. Go ahead and close Facebook back out. All right. So now I know that we've done pomegranate, right? So let's go see. Um, what this next one is on my list. Um, fun wears wine time, right? So a lot of times too, they'll put the brand at the beginning of the description. So visit the fun wear store, uh, and then sold by fun wears, right? So obviously this is going to be fun wears puzzles. So let's go look for fun wears puzzles, Amazon target, target, fundamentally toys. Now I did already go look at this ahead of making the video and this is not the puzzle company. This is basically just a company that's selling the puzzle. So I don't want to contact them. And I'm not finding a website directly to Funwares. So we are going to pass on this one for now and go see what is next on my list. The Happy Isles, the brand is Magic Pud Puzzle Company, right? So let's go see what we get on Google from Magic Puzzle Company. Actually, this is another one I looked at, I think. Yeah, this one is some sort of a GoFundMe fundraiser or some, something. Yeah, you can't, a Kickstarter. You can't get anywhere unless you basically tell them to email you. And I'm not interested in that because I don't want to get put on some sort of spam list. Um, next one on my list, Project Gray is the uh, brand. So we'll copy that and you'll see again here on the right, it matches Project Gray. Project Gray puzzles, Amazon, Reddit, Pinterest, eBay, uh, eBay, you buy. Oh look, so they've got a Instagram right there. It looks like. Okay, so let's see what this is. They've only made four posts, 136 followers, 151. Links back to their Amazon store. Um, how long ago was their first post? August 28th. So it's probably a fairly new company, which there's nothing wrong with that actually. A lot of times the smaller companies are the ones I usually get more response from. So I'll go ahead and shoot them a message here on Instagram. Um, like I said, I usually 
we'll do Facebook, but I don't see a Facebook for them. So let's go copy my message, send a message. What's going on here? Why is it not letting me message them? Here we go, Project Grey Puzzles. Honestly, actually, this is why I don't like trying to do it through Instagram. Okay, so we're gonna... I'm gonna skip on this. If I end up messaging them, I'll end up just doing it through my phone because I'm not able to get to them right now. I'm gonna do one more quick glance through here to see if they, they have a Facebook. Um, all right, so, so far, no. I'm, uh, that's all the time I'm gonna spend on that. Sorry guys, I didn't mean to get so uh, sidetracked on that. Let's go ahead and try to do one more. Um, Let's see what this Euro graphics is. The Euro graphics store. All right, does that look like the same? company pretty much does right <coughs> excuse me so let's drop to the bottom and see if they have a social media there's not one um but they do have a contact us so let's see what we get there they're based out of uh, canada I generally try not to email people blindly unless I contact them on social media first. And then after that in social media, they say, hey, go ahead and email this specific person. I'm sorry I'm hitting so many duds right now. Uh, it's because I've already actually gone through and done this with quite a few. Um, let me see if there's a company down here. Let's see who this is. Pig Bang Bang Store. Okay. Let's see if we can find this company online. Amazon, Amazon Sears, you buy, you buy. All right. I'm just hitting lots of uh, dead ends here. Hmm. Let's see if we can find this llama one because my sister loves llamas and if I can get this puzzle and give it to her afterwards. Is this a book or a puzzle? It's a puzzle. Sometimes what I will do too is not always, but sometimes on the box itself, it will have a website or a social media, but Peter Palper Press. So let's go look that up. 
Oh, look at that. So we got a direct website. Maybe this one will be a win. Okay. Let's drop to the bottom. Look, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, blog. So let's go to Facebook and message. And I don't usually keep a log of who I've messaged or not, because if I had messaged them, it would show it right here in Facebook already. So now I'm just going to copy this message and we will shoot this over to them. And bam. A lot of them too, see this right here? A lot of them have these auto responders. So don't be surprised if you get those and then you don't hear back right away. Sometimes it might take a day or two for a human to actually come across your message. All right, so that's basically how I'm utilizing it right now. Um, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna have some more follow-up videos to this. I'm gonna show you how I uh, further use Facebook, Instagram, uh, and even Etsy, um, just as of recent, and Pinterest uh, to do the same thing and finding companies and how to reach out to them to collaborate. So hope this video wasn't too boring. Um, it was basically just to kind of give you guys an idea of how I'm, I'm getting in touch with these puzzle companies. So if you want to see other how-to videos from me or you have questions on any of the stuff I'm doing, feel free to comment below and ask me. But uh, until then, I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, and if you're not already subscribed, uh, click on that little sub, uh, subscribe button and then hit the bell notification next to it so you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. See you guys in the next one. Later.